Okay, once you've uh, purchased the VPA Scrambler product and used the installation package to install it, you should find a desktop icon on your desktop labeled VBA Scrambler. Double click on this icon and it will take you into the VBA Scrambler workbook. At that point you may be presented with a product activation window and that, that is where you use your serial number that you've been provided as part of the product purchase um, to register your product. We have another video on our website that refers to product activation if you need some help with that. Okay, after you've installed the VBA Scrambler product uh, and double clicked on the desktop icon to enter the VBA Scrambler, you'll be presented with this, uh, this worksheet, which is the VBA Scrambler control worksheet. From this point, you can start the Scrambler using this button, Start VBA Scrambler, and you can also see all the statistics about the scrambling routine as it proceeds to scramble your workbook. Now, just a bit of a description before we start on the demonstration. Um, the Scrambler workbook the Scrambler routine works by scrambling your VBA code. It will remove comments from your existing VBA code, it will scramble procedure names, and it will remove spaces and blank lines. All these, these, these three sort of functions within the VBA Scrambler, are all the single objective is to make your VBA code as hard to read as possible for someone who intends to copy and then try and reuse your VBA code. So you'll see that um, after the scrambling routine has worked, it's very hard for the human eye to follow and understand what's happening in, in a complicated uh, VBA Excel workbook. Okay, enough um, talking about uh, the VBA scrambler. Let's see some examples of it working. Okay, I'll start with a fairly simple example first which is a test workbook that we use um, for the development of this product. Called test.xls. Now at the moment um, I've gone and selected that by using the browse button here. Just selected that file and you can have all these options checked on or checked off or any of them checked on or checked off. So at the moment we'll leave them all on. And then when you're ready you click scramble now. The routine will then go away open that workbook, scramble the code, and then save it with a new name, in this case, new-2010, 5th May 20, at 1342.test.xls. So that workbook's now been created, and it tells us here from the statistics page that there's been seven comments replaced or removed, five procedure names have been scrambled and renamed, and there's been 31 blank lines removed from that code. Okay, let's go and look at the VBA code before and after pictures. Okay, here is the VBA code prior to the scrambling routine running. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of comments, spaces, indentation on for loops, and, and also, obviously, logic that shows us uh, how, this, how these macros are working. Now, after the scrambling, code now looks like this, which basically has no spaces, very hard to read, no comments to give you instruction, procedure names have been changed. So this is a simple example of how VBA Scrambler can work. I'll now go and quickly show you a more complicated example, and then we'll talk about when you might use VBA Scrambler in your routine, in your process of releasing Excel workbooks. Okay. I'm now going to scramble a more complicated workbook that has a series of forms, procedures, functions, and other macros included to it. Um, almost 5,000 lines of code in this case. So here I've uh, already selected the file, which is Calgon Tariff Quotation. I'm going to scramble that now. Starts off by removing the comments, then begins scrambling the procedure names, which is halfway through here now and then goes and removes the blank lines. Now in this case, because it's a 2003 workbook, it's got the compatibility checker in 2007 is coming up, so I just need to continue through this and it'll save that file. When it's saved the file, it'll uh, give us a message telling us that we've been successfully scrambled the workbook and the name that it's been called. It's in the same directory as the previous workbook. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly show you what that looks like. 
Okay, prior to the scrambling routine, this uh, workbook had, as I said, many, many forms and modules. Here we're populating a list box. You can see there's some comments and some spaces indentation for programming to give you understanding of the code and plus also some uh, data entry validation routine. That's what the code used to look like and now it looks like this. Basically no spaces, no comments, changing in the procedure names, making it much more harder to understand exactly what's going on in the code. So that's the premise of the VBA Scrambler and uh, we found it very useful in the release and distribution of our workbooks. The workbooks still function the same way uh, to the user's perspective but if someone intentionally tries to uh, break into a VB, VB project password the actual understanding and use of the code within it is much harder uh, following the scrambling process. Well, that completes the demo of the VBA Scrambler product and uh, I hope you found it informative and that you can see use for this product either in your own business or personally within your workplace. The VBA Scrambler main objective is to help you protect your VBA code and it does this through the translation and scrambling of your VBA code so that people can't easily reuse what you've done.